I'm currently running into a problem, and that is that I don't have enough money to make the crazy projects I want to build. And you know what that means, I'm gonna have to make a bunch of money, and actually, I have a pretty cool idea for how we can do so. And actually, it all works because of a very strange mechanic that lets you teleport anchored blocks. Now, if I wanted to teleport this anchored block right here, you might know that it's pretty much impossible. I mean, I can do pretty much anything I want, but it's not gonna work. And actually, there's only one kind of block that allows you to do this, and it's the wheel block. So if I unanchor this now, as you can see, we just teleported an anchored block. And actually, it is literally teleporting back and forth. Now, you might have already thought of this, but this allows for some really funky mechanics. For example, a build that infinitely teleports forward. And actually, building one of these is insanely easy. Now, all you have to do to build one of these is have two portals at the exact same height with a wheel in between. And as you can see, we have a build that is infinitely going to be teleporting forward. And this entire thing is literally anchored off. Now, that puppy right there is pretty slow and actually not that good for making money. So I think I have an idea for how I can build one of these that is gonna be insanely quick at making cash. Now, even though we can fly over all the rocks, we still have to deal with pretty much anything that flies towards us. So plastic is not gonna do. And actually the easiest way we can make sure that we're traveling as far as possible is by putting the portals further away from each other, just like so. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is simply put the portals in place, which should be pretty easy because we need a piston just like so. And then this right here is where I'm gonna put the portal, just like so, there you go. And of course, we're also gonna need a portal at the front. Now, it is very important that you make sure that these two portals are at the exact same height. So actually, I'm just simply gonna clone it. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna place a block in the exact center of the portal and then place your wheel on that block, just like so. And that should pretty much be perfect. All right, we're gonna attach this to the build. And that right there should be the entire unit done. Now, this right here could make me a couple dollars, but I want to build the craziest AFK farm you've ever seen, and this thing is just not going to cut it. So first off, we're going to lift this thing above the stages, so that way it can never break, just like so. All right, the next thing I'm going to add is going to be the part that is the most important for making sure that this can actually be an AFK farm. So here we go. It's just going to be like a wall that goes all the way down, just like so. And actually up here, I'm going to place a harpoon that is facing perfectly down, just like that. Actually, it needs to be closer. I think so. Okay, perfect. So if I turn off aim on this thing, I think it should reach all the way down. All right, perfect. That looks just right. And actually, I don't think it needs to go all the way down. I think something like this should be fine. All right, perfect. Now, there is only one problem left. If I use this unit in an AFK farm, at some point, I would just simply run out of units, even if I duped this a thousand times. I would only be able to go a thousand times. So we have to find out a way to actually return this thing. And actually for this, I think I have a pretty good idea. And actually one thing I just realized is that if I have the portals this way, I can't have that many of these units. So I think I'm just gonna do the exact same thing but I'm actually gonna rotate everything on its side. Yeah, just like so. And of course, that means that I'm gonna have to do the same thing here, but I think that should be a pretty easy change. All right, there you go, that should be perfect. And actually, I wanna make sure that this is all still working, so I'm gonna select everything right here, except for the wheel and unanchor it, and I think we should then be able to, oh, yep, it's, it's going, okay, it is working perfectly fine. All right, come back, come back. You know what, this might actually be the skinniest AFK from you'll ever see. It is literally one block thick. All right, so I'm gonna actually need this exact same thing right here, but on the other side. So I'm gonna just simply mirror it over and this is gonna be the return system. And of course, for this, we're gonna have to use a different portal color. All right, so let's see if this thing is actually gonna work. So right here, as you can see, I have another portal. Uh, that right there is pretty much there just to save the location. I want everything to return to. So if I place a chair on this thing, I think I can write it. All right, we're gonna sit down and let's just try this thing out. So we're gonna unanchor everything but the wheel and okay that's turn okay wait <laughs> uh that needs to be a bit longer like eight yeah eight okay eight is perfect so right now we're going forward and i'm actually gonna stop going forward or we're gonna get way too far away so right here i'm gonna set this one to eight two let's see if i press this are we gonna return back home and it looks like we are you know what that right there is actually perfect now as you can see it does look a little bit glitchy with those two portals pretty much inside of each other but if we want to go again as you can see we can actually go once more dude that is so perfect all right return button there we go that is so cool. Now, I know it looks a little bit crazy, but I think that right there is actually the unit done. Now, currently, I'm thinking how many of these units I'm going to need. And honestly, I'm not really quite sure. So I think I'm going to go with 10. Now, I got to make sure nothing here is touching. Okay, right there, it's touching. That's bad. All right, that right there is looking good. 
All right, three, and there we have nine. And you know what? This thing is already starting to look a lot more insane. Now, before I do anything, I'm actually gonna have to make sure that all of these portals have different colors because currently this would be one jumbled up mess. And you know what? With all of the portals having different colors, this looks way cooler. Now, of course, the way you actually link portals is by making them the same color. And actually, if you have more than two portals, things get very confusing. So that's why we have to do this. Now, actually, something that's gonna be very important before we can run this thing is that we get everything hooked up properly. And actually, as you can see, everything just automatically hooking up is not gonna be right. Actually, that right there is a harpoon. I'm gonna unlink that as well. And pretty much to this lever, we wanna attach everything that relates to the returning system. All right, there you go. And we're gonna just have to do this for every single one of these. All right, there you go. So if I link all of those to that lever, I think that should be fine. And you know what? I actually wanna test this out. We're gonna select everything except for the wheels and these red poles right here and we're gonna unanchor everything okay we messed up one of them because i forgot but i think we should still be able to test it okay flick the lever and oh okay what what just happened um i'm not quite sure what happened here but i don't think everything went according to plan and actually it looks like i messed up painting one of the portals which was enough to mess the whole thing up all right let's try that out one more time we're gonna flick the lever and everything should just line up okay perfect that is exactly what we want to see now the next thing i'm gonna have to do is actually figure out exactly how long it takes to get to the end so I think the way I'm gonna do this is just simply sit down and just simply run this thing. All right, and anchor it all. And I'll just simply use a stopwatch on my phone. All right, here we go, three, two, one. All right, and you know what? I'm actually gonna completely stop this entire thing because I'm realizing something and that this thing is going way too slowly. It was already a minute and what? I'm only in the stupid drown stage. Come on, that is not nearly far enough for a minute. So I think I made a bit of a mistake by making these poles right here even a little bit less long. So actually, I think the way I'm gonna fix this is gonna be pretty dang simple. Just simply select everything, just like so, and we're gonna move this all the way to the beginning right here. There you go, perfect. So now we should just simply teleport way further with each teleport. And yeah, you can already tell that we're traveling way faster. All right, boom, there you go. So if I now flick this, I should stop moving. And the moment I activate this lever, as you can see, we return back to the start, but I've still made my money. And I actually think that if I reset character, I should pretty much, what, get like max money? I got nothing. Oh, and I just realized it was because I was above the stage. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. All right, so now that we have all of this, it's time to get things set up because this thing right here is gonna work unlike any other AFK farm you've ever seen. So first off, I'm gonna shrink all of these way back down. There you go. And I actually just realized the dumbest thing of all time. I only need one of these. Why do I even have nine? Okay, you're... <laughs> <laughs> this is maybe the stupidest realization I've ever made on a build. Uh, this is a little bit embarrassing, but we are actually going to delete every single one of these except for one. All right, we're going to pretend that this all never happened. But funnily enough, we do actually still need this part. So we're going to leave this right here just like so. And pretty much this just needs to be a wall for us to stand against. Actually, I'm going to do a little bit of a change right here. I'm actually going to make it a wall that is kind of like a corner. So we're going to go like this instead. Well, there you go. Now, something I quickly want to make sure of is that if I still stand in this corner, when I activate this, it will, yeah, it will actually grab me guaranteed. Perfect. Now to make sure that I actually end up in this exact spot every single time, I'm gonna use a little bit of a trick right here. So we're gonna clone this part. We're gonna rotate it to the other side. So that way we kind of have like a little bit of a pocket. All right, there you go, just like so. And now if I place a portal right here in the start on its side, just like so, I think that lines up with the middle. Okay, not quite. All right, there you go. That is perfectly lined up with the middle. I think if I cover up this entire portal right here with blocks, then I don't know, scale this all the way down. I think if I actually step through this portal now, I should end up, yeah, there you go. I will always end up in the exact same spot. Spot. So I teleport, boom, same spot every single time. All right, so right here, we're gonna place a lever. And actually, because of the way we do this, it's gonna be pretty simple to make sure we will always click it. All right, that right there looks like it should be the right place. And actually, I just realized that I have to add in a bit of a system to make sure I can never flick this thing twice. So we're gonna move this by 10 blocks over, just like so. And pretty much, we're gonna add a piston to this thing. So that way we can't press it multiple times. All right, there you go. I think when I flick this lever, yeah, there you go. The lever immediately leaves. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna have to start the right order of things with delay blocks to make sure that everything works properly. So 
Here we go, time to place myself a ton of delays. And I'm gonna just set all of these to 10 seconds. All right, so when we flick the lever, the first thing we wanna do is move the piston as well as activate the harpoon. So that's gonna be our first thing. There you go. But actually the next thing we wanna do is move both of these pistons. So we're gonna do that. There you go. It takes about a minute and 30 seconds to get all the way to the end. So the way we're gonna make sure that we get all the way to the end is just simply chaining nine of these together without doing anything. Seven, eight, nine, there you go. So here's the ninth one. And after we get to the ninth one, we pretty much just wanna activate both of these one more time, just like so. Now, currently everything is looking perfect, except for one thing, and that is that we don't really have any way to forcefully teleport ourselves yet because you know we want our player to pretty much be stuck right here so the way we're gonna do this is by using an age-old portal trick and actually building it is brain dead easy we just want to place ourselves a block right here just like so then on here we're gonna place a wheel with a block that is 108 studs long so when you grab the skill tool by the end of it you want it to say 108 there you go perfect just like so then right here we're gonna place ourselves another wheel actually we don't want these wheels to link to anything that is actually really important so stop that and actually you know what i'm gonna move this all a little bit upwards all right then on here we're gonna place ourselves another block to which we're gonna attach our portal and i think that should be all we have to do so there you go this right here is gonna be our green portal just like so and all of this is gonna have collision disabled and we're gonna hook all of that up to our setup lever all right let's see if this is all gonna work properly so here we go all right nothing broke yet perfect i we flick the lever and i think this stuff should start spinning okay <laughs> now it's looking a little bit buggy and actually it looks like it's going over where we want it to go so i'm definitely gonna have to lower it but as you can see you can kind of see it working the way it should as in it is gonna go over all of these and it's just gonna sporadically spin around all right that looks perfect yeah we're gonna just want to lower that part all right there we go that's looking a little bit better all right let's try that one more time all right flick the lever and as you can see it starts going and if we die we should automatically get teleported all right now it might take a second because it's just warming up but come on and is it still too high or did it just miss me i actually think it's still too high i'm an idiot all right this time around i made sure that it's pretty much almost touching the floor come on please work this time there you go that is more like it so pretty much whenever you die no matter what you're gonna just simply get teleported the moment you respawn. There you go, boom, just like that. Now, I think all I have to set up is an auto clicker to make sure that one, I don't get AFK kicked because what is the point of an AFK farm if you're gonna get kicked anyway? And also to flick this lever whenever I get here. So it just harpooned me in the head, perfect. Is it gonna, is it gonna start going soon? And it's actually going! <laughs> Dude, we are actually swinging to the end. This is so goofy. Now, I am right now realizing that I did forget to add one thing. Now, I think any second now, it should return back to home, but there is gonna be one slight problem with that, and that is that I'm still currently attached to it. We actually, at this point, wanna drop me- Oh, yes! We return back home! Oh my god, that literally worked flawlessly. Yeah, that is totally perfect. But yeah, the one thing I did forget to add is actually the part that kills me because currently, um, I actually want to die and return the harpoon back up top. Because otherwise, we're going to start running into some problems. And actually, 180 gold is amazing. Okay, so let's see if I can quickly add that. Now, it might not get you every single time, but at some point, it will get you. Just like so. Then you flick the lever, you get harpoon in the head. Come on, come on, come on. Is it actually going? Oh my god, and it actually goes as well. Dude, the only thing I have to start right now is an auto clicker. And I will literally have... The perfect AFK gold farm. Dude, <laughs> look at me go. Also, this thing is insanely cheap. It only uses two portals and honestly, only a couple of other random blocks that aren't really that expensive at all. And actually, you can even get four portals for free if you do the right quest. Now, I'm really curious to see if the ending part is also going to work because I just got that set up. Okay, so we're going. And pretty soon, the harpoon should actually start pulling us upwards. Okay, we're still going. Now, keep in mind, guys, we're not actually going for the end chest. It doesn't really give you that much extra gold. And actually, setting that up would pretty much be impossible. But here we go. I think, yeah, now. Yeah, look, look, look. It's pulling us up. And the reason it's pulling us up is because we want to reset the harpoon. Come on. And the, the harpoon is reset. And we die. And the build is gone. The build resets right before we die. So now we get back here, we get 180 gold, which is pretty dang good. Now, just make sure that you're always in first person while you're using this farm and you just click the lever. You just click it and you go. I cannot believe that I just 
invented a new way of building an AFK farm, dude. What? And honestly, I think that this might actually be pretty easy to build for new beginning players. Now, sadly, this AFK farm does have one flaw. And I mean, if for some reason I was to actually die right now, the entire AFK farm will break. And actually, it is because of a current bug going on that pretty much if you die while delay blocks are going off, the next delay block won't actually activate. As you can see right now, this delay block is never going to move forward. Now, lucky for us, this isn't a huge problem because if you build this thing on a different account or your friend has this thing and they just go AFK like normal, you can use this thing forever without it ever running out. And also, I think this bug should be fixed pretty soon, so it's not that much of a problem. But yeah, if nothing goes wrong, you can literally use this thing for as long as you want.